Hi guys, welcome to Web TV. So today I want to explain to you about why surrendering is important for twin friend journey. And also I want to help you to teach how to surrender easily on your own. And after that, we're gonna do some energy work for surrendering for some uh, who want to do it with me. So the reason why we need to surrender is a couple of reasons why it's important to surrender. The reason number one, release attachment so we can release resistance. When we have a resistance, we are attached to a particular timeline. And if we want to shift to better timeline, we can have this glue. You know, this feeling of attachment is like glue to stick to a certain reality. And you have to keep on staying in the same situation because you want to stick there. That's what you don't want to do. Number two, creating a loving environment for you that is act of self-love. Twin Fame journey is ultimately the journey for self-love. So when you are having especially a difficult situation, like sort of toxic in a way, like it's too hard, too much breaking heart so many times, and you are in the situation like that. And after, especially you learned lesson and you grow as a soul, it is not serving you. So by surrendering, you open the door to new possibility. And you also exercise love, self-love, and showing that to the universe, which is an important action to do to, you know, let the universe know you are loving yourself. So more than anything, even twin flame, you take over your act of self-love when the situation is not serving you. Number three, it's important to surrender so we can shift a better timeline. It's kind of connected to uh, reason number one, because when you have attachment, like strong emotion toward the divine masculine, or if you are in opposite situation, divine feminine, whatever, um, that emotion after the glue and you only gonna be in that particular timeline. So a lot of times I work on with client doing a lot of energy work. The reason why, because when you release the energy and the emotion, you shift to different timeline. And the more you release, you shift to totally different timeline. And in that timeline, your divine counterpart is not the same person as you met yesterday or before you were doing energy work. In 3D world, we think time is linear. Time isn't linear. Time is <laughs> multi-line, you know, like a billion, the zillion of different timelines depends on which choice we make, which choice Divine Masculine makes, and what kind of action we take. And by us releasing particular emotion and working on ourselves, we are shifting one timeline every single second. Of course, most of the people don't shift a different timeline or drastically different timeline because they don't do their energy work, they don't do releasing work, they don't do surrendering. So your vibration stays in the similar range. Therefore, you experience the same kind of experiences. 
let's say, you know, when we look at this chart, the emotional chart, which is like correlated with frequency, let's say when you have anger toward the other by masculine, and then if you're holding on to it, that anger has a particular frequency, and this anger frequency is act like um, weight. And this weight is like sounding in your energy field and put you into a particular timeline. So unless you release it, you stuck in that timeline. You know what I mean? So when you by releasing it, by surrendering it, you are choosing not only working on yourself and uh, ascending, but choosing better timeline. So this is why it's important to do surrendering. A lot of people say surrender, but you know sometimes you don't know why you have to do this. And these are reasons why you know people recommend you to do that. Okay, so let's move on to how you can surrender. You can choose any kind of a method which is comfortable for you, but like most common way is go meditate and you focus on a particular emotion, right? And then you keep on focusing it in present state. Feel it until you don't feel it anymore. Because when you are keep on feeling it in present time, you're releasing it and surrendering it. As far as you know, emotion go goes, you can do that way. What can you do about your wish your desire that you want to be with your divine masculine by act of surrendering not to be in control of what to do in this situation or just you know surrender to universe you are ultimately giving universe which is you 100 percent trust that you are going to be reunited with your divine masculine. So act of surrendering is act of trust. So when you show trust, of course, what do you believe in come back to you? So let's work on some energy work. Okay, now I see this. Looks like a cocoon. Uh, inside of a cocoon, I see as a collective a lot of wishes and the desires in it. And around those emotions, I see like a lot of, um, you know, looks like a yeah, cocoon, like surrounded by white, um, fluffy, fluffy stuff, it's surrounded by and covering on it. Like it looks like a before, like you know, transforming to butterfly kind of looking like. Um, so let's connect that with Divine Feminine, Goddess Collectives, Unconditional Love Energy. To ourselves. We are all goddesses and we don't have to force something to happen. We attract and it will come to us by us being who we really are. Now I see the stars and um, these stars are, yeah, has the essence of uh, wishes. So I want to sprinkle that on the cocoon. And now I see the 
Yeah, masculine god of water. I'm not really um, familiar with Greek mythology, but he's a, a water god. So he is here to nurture this cocoon with special water. And uh, he's like uh, splashing this water into cocoon. And then now I'm seeing, okay, Book of Love. So page 34, 55, 103, 213, and 215 go into the cocoon, which is something important for us to know and for us to understand and gather for this journey which will sink into our subconscious mind and soul. Okay, now I see Aphrodite coming toward us and she is sending blessing energy. Now we are going to surrender. I want us to breathe in and out, in and out, and relax. And now I am calling on, yeah, I keep hearing the Roman angel. Roman angels will help us to surrender the emotions and attachment which is no longer serving us. And take it to the universe and make it to neutralizing and harmonizing it. Okay, now. I'm setting new blueprint, we can see 21, view the 124, to have bright new loving timeline for all of us. Yeah. And then, <laughs> before we're ending this session, we have this surprising gift which is unique to all of us. Right. It will open when time comes for each of you. Okay, that's done. Alrighty. So thank you so much for listening or watching. Please share, subscribe, and like. And I see you guys on next time. Bye.